fired up my steam box. Two five foot by 10 foot torsion boxes. One on top, one on the bottom. I'm steaming a three inch thick slab. I did not dry this slab. All my slabs dry flat. Uh, just kidding. Anyway, this slab came from uh, Germany. Um, I, this is an experiment. So the two torsion boxes remain rigid, protecting the torsion box from the steam and the temperature. I got a layer of uh, two by 12s uh, on the mating surfaces. <clears throat> I'll show you in a second. And then basically I use these, uh, my clamps to clamp as I steam. So this will steam for approximately three hours. Um, inside temperature is about 220 degrees. And that down there you see that polyurethane, that six mil poly between the inch and a half pine and the top of the torsion box. Uh, of course, the steam temperature being 220 degrees and all the moisture for three hours, you wouldn't want that against the plywood on the one surface of the torsion box. You can see the top of the torsion box. So my temperature is about running at about 220 degrees on the far side. You can see through the torsion boxes here. That's how they're constructed. Over on this end here, I got a door I can open up. And uh Okay, you can make up a slab and the spacers, kind of. There you go, there's a slab. There's a slab in there with the spacers. And you can see the two by 12 material on the top and the bottom protecting the plywood. And then this is poly, any water that gets through just comes in, uh, I think you can see that. Drips off down on the ground there. Anyway, I got a clue. Well, you'll be able to see this pretty good now. There's a slab right there. And this has already been clamped. This has been clamped down. Just tighten the clamps as you go. That bleeds off water. Main objectives, keep that plywood cool. Um, it's just barely warm to the touch when I feel inside there, so. This will steam for approximately three hours. And then I'll take it out. Well, I won't take it out. Basically, once I'm done steaming, then I just take a couple screws off and I slide these skirt boards off to expose the whole center. And then it'll just sit in here probably for a week. Still clamped. And then once I'm done, I'll take the clamps off. Then I just stick my forks in those pockets. I can pick the top torsion box off and then I'll see this particular slab was tilted up three inches on one corner three inches so if I can get that down to one inch then it's it's good to see and see flat